Haunted Eyelids Audio Theater. Painted Eyelids Audio Theater presents Dream Scouts, written and directed by C.J. Stima. Stupid tent. There! Nancy, you pitched that tent perfectly. You've definitely earned your tent pitching badge with that. Why don't you go help Carter get the campfire started, since I know you've already earned your fire starter badge. Yes, Miss Janet. Oh, Stephanie and Jason, welcome back from your scavenging mission. Miss Janet, look, I found some berries on a bush by the creek. Did you check your nature book to make sure those berries are safe to eat? Well, no, but... (laughs) You're right. I'm sure it's fine. Go ahead and put those with the rest of our food, and don't forget this. Your very own gatherer's badge. Wow. Thanks. And Jason, what did you bring back from your hunt? (laughs) I caught this rabbit with my own teeth. Amazing. You're one step closer to earning your Wolfpack Assimilation Badge. Go ahead and skin your prize so we can spit roast it for dinner. Yes, sir, ma'am. Miss Janet, we started the fire. Can I have my fire starter badge now? Here's your new badge. And now that you know how to start a fire, you can earn your Sacrificial Flame Badge this week. Now, don't forget to say thank you to Nancy for helping. Thank you, Nancy. Yeah, whatever. All right, scouts, come gather around the fire. It's time for a few announcements. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Dream Scout Troop 4619 annual camping trip. Yay! (gasps) If you were here last summer, then you remember when Nancy earned her Speaking in Tongues badge and when Jason earned his Identifying Unnatural Anomalies badge. Two very impressive feats. Yay! And this year, you'll all have your own chance to earn so many other fun badges. Just like last year, the main goal of this trip is for every one of you to earn your Master Cryptozoologist badge. Can anyone tell me how one earns this badge? Ooh, ooh! Yes, Carter? You have to track down a cryptid and capture it, like how we've been studying. My big brother says that when he got his Master Cryptozoologist badge, he caught a hodag. Sure he did. Anyway, Scouts, I promise I will do whatever it takes to help you all earn those badges. And unlike last year, I won't let a single one of you be lost to the wolves. Like poor little Tommy. May he rest in peace. May May he rest 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 in peace. Yes, yes. Such a sad memory. But since we're all back at the scene of the crime, you all have the perfect opportunity to earn your shrine building badge and your seance preparation badge. (gasps) Maybe even a successful contact badge, if any of you actually manage to connect to poor little Tommy on the other side. Again, may he rest in peace. May May he rest rest in peace. peace. Well, I think that's enough reminiscing for now. We have got a very fun week ahead of us, and plenty of time for badges. So for now, let's have some s'mores! Woo! Yay! What do you think you guys are going to find? I don't know. Your shoes look like somebody who's spitting in them. Oh my gosh. Spitting your shoes. While you're all enjoying your snacks, I'd like to welcome Nancy up to the front. Come on up here, Nancy! As you all know, Nancy is one of this troop's oldest dream scouts, and she is this close to evolving into a nightmare scout. Nancy needs two more badges before she can level up, one of which is her ghost story badge, leveled up to its highest point. Nancy, I believe you prepared your very own ghost story for us this evening. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. Everyone settle in and let's listen closely. One year ago, on this very night, a young boy named Tommy set off into the woods to earn his wolf pack assimilation badge. He could bring nothing with him, no food or water, just the clothes on his back. But even those he decided to lose so that the wolves wouldn't be able to recognize his human scent. He washed himself in the river and wandered through the woods. 
until he found the wolf den. Tommy knew what to do. This is what he had been training for. As long as the wolves didn't assume he was a threat, he would be safe. Tommy walked inside and all the wolves turned to look at him. He had to stand perfectly still while one of the wolves circled him, sniffing. After only a few seconds, all the wolves began to growl. They had decided he was a threat. Tommy took off running back out into the woods, but he wasn't fast enough. The wolves caught him and took him down. They say Tommy's screams could be heard for miles and that they're still echoing out in these woods today. <laughs> that was wonderful. Very scary. You have definitely earned your newly upgraded ghost story badge, subtitled Create a Living Legend. Of course, it doesn't technically meet the requirements, seeing as Tommy is most certainly dead and therefore cannot be a living legend, but that story was just too good. Maybe when you attempt to summon Tommy in your upcoming seance to earn your successful contact badge, you can tell him the story yourself. I'm sure he'll be glad to hear that he's been immortalized through the spoken word. Ah, there it is. Here's your new badge, Nancy. Thank you, Miss Janet. All right, Scouts, I hope you've all had your fill of s'mores because it's almost time to turn in for the night. But first, I'd like us all to go around the circle and share what badges everyone is most excited about earning in the upcoming week and how you intend to do so. I'll start us off. I hope that each and every one of you will finally earn your Master Cryptozoologist badge and that all of your research on cryptozoological creatures and guerrilla warfare tactics can finally get put to good use. Stephanie, why don't you go next? I want to get my Sacrificial Flame badge. Um, and I think I can kill two birds with one stone to get my Summon an Elder God badge too. I mean, as long as I can find everything I need for the right ritual, and if I can actually kill two birds with the same stone. Wonderful. Jason? I'm going to follow in Tommy's footsteps and get my wolf pack assimilation badge, except I'm not going to die like he did. What I'm going to do is I'm going to capture one of the wolves, skin it, and wear its hide to trick the other wolves into thinking I've been one of them all along. Very creative. Carter? I want to figure out how to get the unknowable badge. I don't really have any ideas for how to get it, and the scout handbook doesn't say much about how to get it either, but my big brother got one when he was a dream scout. Did he? Did who? Your big brother. Did he earn his unknowable badge? I don't know. I don't think I have a big brother. What's an unknowable badge? <laughs> well, it sounds like you're off to a great start. Nancy, after you complete your successful contact badge, do you have any other goals in mind? Yeah, but... I can't decide between the telepathic glass shattering badge and the all-knowing badge, but I have this weird feeling in my gut that's telling me I might be closer to the all-knowing badge. That's the spirit. Always follow your gut. Wow, those sound like some amazing plans you all have for this week. On that note, I think it's time we all... Hello? Who's out there? Is that... <gasps> my goodness! Tommy? Miss Janet! I thought I'd never see you again. But we lost you to the wolves on last year's trip. How are you still alive? The wolves accepted me into their pack. Can you believe it? I only meant to stay with them for a few days, but I guess I lost track of time. And by the time I returned to the campsite, you had already packed up and left. <sighs> no way you survived that long all on your own. I've been living with the wolves this entire time. Look, I even made my own badges out of sticks and mud. Sticks and mud? Those aren't even real badges. They may not be real, but they inspired me to stay alive just a little while longer, and it paid off. <laughs> you came back for me. Well, not exactly. You wouldn't believe the things I lived through. On the winter solstice, the wolves brought me to the sacred meeting of all the forest creatures. Now I got to meet Bigfoot and Mothman and the leader of the cryptids. He called himself Sheep Squatch. Sheep Squatch? He was this giant human-sheep hybrid who bathed me in animal blood and gave me a blessing that helped me live through the winter. Cryptids, Miss Janet. I finally earned my Master Cryptozoologist badge, and I lived long enough to see it. 
<laughs> oh, Tommy, you know there's no such thing as a sheep squatch. You were probably just hallucinating because you picked the wrong berries again. And Stephanie, that's why we check the nature book. But here, Tommy, I'll let you have your wolf pack assimilation badge. But- No buts. You should be glad I'm not taking away your human lie detector badge, since you know it's impolite to lie about your whereabouts for the last year, especially when everyone assumed you were dead. I mean, really, Tommy, you couldn't pick up a phone? Your mother was worried sick about you. I'm sorry. I think you're about a year too late for sorries, young man. Now, you'd better get back to your wolf pack before they come looking for you and end up eating this entire troop. Oh no, that's my new mom. I'm out past curfew. (coughs) I'm coming, mom. (sighs) Well, I'm sorry, scouts, but it looks like you won't be getting your successful contact badges this year after all. And maybe not your master cryptozoologist badges either, since it sounds like Tommy might have scared all the creatures off. But Miss Janet... What if I kill Tommy and take his place in the pack? And then we can still try to summon his ghost in our seances. That sounds like a wonderful idea, Jason! And maybe Stephanie can use his body in her sacrifice to an elder god! Yeah, but only if Jason lets me help with the killing. If he mangles the body too much, then it won't be any good for a sacrifice. I don't mangle bodies! We all saw what you did to that rabbit, Jason. Now, now, no fighting with each other when the real target is still on the loose. I think the way to go is trapping him in a net. That way, you won't have to worry about him fighting back. Oh, see? Now this is teamwork. All right, scouts, we can come up with the official plan in the morning. For now, it's time for everyone to go to sleep so we can all be well-rested and ready for tomorrow's hunt. Good Good night, night, Miss Janet. Janet. Carter. Carter. Huh? Off to bed, Carter. You'll have plenty of time to unknow things in the morning. There we are. In you go. Zip up tight so the bugs don't get in. Dream Scouts was written and directed by CJ Stima and featured Emily Safko, Peyton Zignego, Annika Zomerman, Karen Olobaugh, Zach Schaefer, and Shelby Steele. Dream Scouts was produced by CJ Stima for the Painted Eyelids Audio Theater and the Columbia College Spring 2021 Audio Drama Course.